Since mesh fusion items are procedurally created and remain live, the process of applying a material to a portion of a mesh fusion item works different than working with direct modeling. To showcase the process, let's use these simple mesh items to create a cartoon plane using mesh fusion. Start by selecting all of the mesh items except the nose and create a new fusion item. Next, select the nose item followed by the fuselage item and click the Apply Subtractive Trim button. Feel free to adjust any of the strips to your liking by clicking the Update Strips button, then select the strips and adjust their width. In order to apply materials to a live mesh fusion item, we need to first change the mesh mode for the item to either airtight final with parts or airtight final item parts. I'll start with airtight final item parts, which creates polygon selection sets, parts, and material groups per source mesh. So if we create a new material item in the shader tree and then group it using the keyboard shortcut control G, we can then set that group to one of the polygon tags created by the fusion item. I'll create another material and group and set it to the wings portion of the mesh so we can see the difference with the airtight final with parts mesh mode. Switching to airtight final with parts is similar to airtight final item parts, but creates individual materials for each seam enclosed part, giving you more control. Each patch of polygons surrounded by strips can be controlled individually. Use either of these mesh mode options to apply materials to your mesh fusion items. 